To our guest speaker, Secretary Fortunato de la Peña of the Department of Science and Technology, Attorney Engelbert Caronan Jr., President, Development Academy of the Philippines, Ms. Magdalena Mendoza, Senior Vice President for Programs, Ms. Nanette Caparos, Managing Director, Faculty and Staff of the Development Academy of the Philippines, Heads of Offices, my fellow graduates, friends, Maray na hapon po sa Indugabos. I would like to congratulate my fellow graduates of the Senior Executive Shuttle Course 1, Optimus, and the Senior Executive Class 8, Awangan. Yes, we made it. And finally, we are done with the difficult modules, sleepless nights, and tiring trips going back and forth to DAP to complete our scholarship. We may be together virtually to celebrate our successful completion of the course, but I know this ceremony is meaningful to each one of us. For me personally, this moment does not indicate the end of our journey as PMDP scholars, but a reminder of our continuing quest as public servants to empower our fellow Filipinos to achieve their aspiration as individuals and as a nation. Kindly allow me to give a deeper meaning to what we have just completed. Through the Public Management Development Program, or PMDP, we were given the privilege and the necessary tools to deepening and nurturing our personal efficacy and leadership, governance and development, and strategic public management. Through these learning areas, we were given a fresh perspective and more grounded meaning of what government service is. We were groomed and reoriented to be the breed of public servants that our country needs in today's evolving context. Just when we barely settled in our offices after our academic course, we were faced with the opportunity of responding and adapting to the challenges that the COVID-19 coronavirus continues to pose. Such challenge and opportunity have indeed highlighted the relevance and applicability of what we have been trained for under the PMDP. The PMDP actually primed, up, primed us for this evolving situation by giving us new skills, outlook, and resolve to take the lead and innovate in these trying times. Many of us DAP scholars shine the brightest in the battle against the pandemic COVID-19. As such, DAP was able to instantly see the result or output of the exercises and trainings it gave their scholars. Hence, as I earlier mentioned, this ceremony is not the end of our journey as PMDP scholars. Learning continues in our own new battlefields, in new working conditions, and with continuous changing needs of our clients. My sincerest gratitude to DAP for allowing us to grow professionally, for training us to become frenetic and transformative leaders, and for deepening our understanding and appreciation of the true sense and meaning of public service. At this point, allow me to express my heartfelt gratitude to some persons who have guided us and helped us go through this difficult but meaningful journey. Thank you, Ma'am Dede, for making sure that we abide by the rules and the government investment on us will not be put to waste. To Ma'am Nanette, thank you for the kindness and guidance all throughout the program. To Ma'am Milet, thank you for giving me a warm welcome the very first time I set foot in the passing. To Ma'am Baby, whose maternal love inspired me to do more and do my best beyond the sensing journey. Thank you very much. To all our professors, thank you for all your inputs and for sharing your wisdom and time. To our two angels, Ms. Karen, our class manager, and Ms. Jill, our class coordinator. Thank you so much for the patience, the love, the laughter, the fun, and the tears you have shed during our difficult times. Your constant reminders may have annoyed, vexed, or irritated some of us but it brought out the best in us and they kept us going. I will surely miss these wonderful ladies. To my Optimus family, I am forever grateful that I am in this class with all of you. 
to our friends from Awangang class, especially those with us in the POEA group. Thank you for the wonderful group dynamic during the frenetic leadership module, and of course for the friendship even after the class. To my foster family in Agoncillo, Batangas, I always pray for their safety and I'm always grateful for the life lesson they taught me during the sensing journey. To my OCP Iriga family, especially to my boss, Deputy City Prosecutor Roberto M. Pocom Jr., thank you for permitting me to take the scholarship, for the support and the leeway you gave me to continue and complete the scholarship. To our Regional Prosecutor, Ma'am Mary May Deleus, thank you for allowing me and endorsing me to take the course. I hope I made you proud. To the DOJ, our Secretary of Justice, Sir Menardo de Guevara, thank you for allowing prosecutors to take scholarships like this. To my husband, thank you for taking care of our children while I was so engrossed with this scholarship. I know we have sacrificed a lot and thank you for supporting me in this endeavor. To my daughters, Abby and Tisha, thank you for bearing with my absence. Lastly, I am grateful to my mother who took care of my family when I was taking the course. As a last remark, let me share. In our strategic management and innovation class, we were made to undergo an illusion exercise. After the task, Sir Butch Africa told me, Tony, I think you are ready. At first, I didn't understand what it meant. Now I realize that being able to see beyond appearance and fathom the real meaning of what is depicted is a skill that a public servant must have, especially now that we are facing a great health challenge. No one is ever ready for this. But in these trying times, we must see beyond what our subordinates, our office mates, our clients, and the whole scenario are giving us. We must look further into how this pandemic is affecting all of us. Be able to deliver our task effectively, no matter how difficult, and look for ways to make, to make its impact minimized. The challenge to us now is not simply to be good leaders and public servants, but to be able to act swiftly, to be more innovative, to lead with grace and kindness, and to be the beacon of light in these dark times. Let us not forget what God wants us to be, to be picked performers, development-oriented, ethical, and committed public servants. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe, and God bless.